Building the Test Automation Framework Module 1 A Practical Introduction to Amazon Web Services for Testers This is the first module in part of a six module course on building the test automation framework and it starts with Amazon Web Services. We're going to use AWS and more specifically Elastic Compute Cloud to build our test environment and automation system. It all starts with configuring and running the virtual machines we need for our test environment. In this module we're focusing on building a control machine which will be a Windows 2008 box and a Linux machine which will be Ubuntu which will run our application under test. Six key areas to setting up AWS. One, creating the AWS account. Two, configuring the security groups. Three, creating the key pairs that we'll need to connect and decrypt our passwords. Four, creating the virtual machines, or as Amazon calls them, instances. Fifth, connecting and configuring PuTTY so that we can talk between our Windows and our Linux machine. And lastly, we'll talk a little bit about monitoring AWS usage and making sure you run your virtual servers down. But before we get into this, a little bit on why we use AWS. One, it's fast to get set up. You'll see this in a minute. Two, there's no provisioning or messing around with hardware and operating system installs. Three, you can increase the capacity or completely shut off the capacity on demand as and when you need it. And fourthly, you only pay for what you use. There's no concept of paying for everything up front and if you don't use it, you've still paid for it. You pay for what you use. A couple of prerequisites. Firstly, you need to have a Windows machine or a Mac machine which has an RDP application so that we can RDP onto our Windows virtual machine. Secondly, you'll need a credit card, a valid credit card. When you sign up for an AWS account, they will require you to enter your credit card. Everything we do on this course will be based around using the free tier, so you shouldn't be charged, but Amazon still will demand your credit card before they'll set your account up. Thirdly, also as part of the account creation, Amazon will want to confirm your account, and they will do this by using your telephone number. You need a valid telephone number. So what are we going to cover? We've got 11 parts to this module. They range from creating an AWS account. In part two, we'll talk about some of the fundamentals and the terminology. Part three and four, we'll talk about security and creating our key pairs. Five and six, we're into running up our Windows and Unix instances. Seven, we're looking at the connections to the Windows machine. And eight and nine, we're looking at installing PuTTY so that we can connect to our, our Linux machine. Part 10, we're just going to talk a little bit about the difference between terminate and stop when we shut down our instances. And finally, in part 11, we'll look at how to check your AWS spend and monitor your account usage. <music>